Welcome back to Man on a Beach. I'm here at Arisag with Tom. Uh -huh. Tom, what does the beach mean to you? Well, it means a way of survival in the olden days where they got their shellfish and underfish and uh, the seaweed for the crops as well, all this kind of thing. And you could live at the shore side because you could grow crops and survive. You know? So this is a reference to the crofting times, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's still exist in a way, not, not, not totally dependent on it now, but uh, they were at that time. But, uh, some, they had some very hard winters where they didn't get so much. But <clears throat> so what nowadays would people combine crofting with another job then? Mostly now, yes. Uh -huh. In fact, uh, quite a number of crofters have campsites as well, and this is a, another income for them. Yeah. <clears throat> And over your yeah. shoulder there, we've got a lot of yachts. This has become an attractive tourist destination, hasn't it? Oh, uh -huh. Well, that's a different line that uh, a local businessman that started that up. Uh, uh, you had to have a bit of capital to start that up. <laughs> uh, it's a fine setting for it, isn't it? Uh-huh, it is. Right, uh, so when you think of the beach, does it uh -huh. mean that? Source of food and ah, oh, plus the fact that uh, you watch the ebb and flow every day, and there's always a changes. And the weather changes with it as well. Uh, you have that. <coughs> Some people really enjoy just sitting watching the tide flowing, but yeah, not everybody's got time to do that. Uh, uh. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. Right. Bye <laughs> now. Cheers. <laughs>